Good morning. Um, good to be with you guys again. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, we're still in the house. <laughs> and uh, things haven't changed in that aspect. Uh, we are going to continue uh, with Dr. Jankel and Mr. Hyde here. Um, before we go into chapter 5, let's review a little bit of chapter 4 uh, with the activities. Uh, let's look at the activities 3 and 4. It's on pages 23. Uh, it says match A and B to make sentences about the story. Uh, A says, according to Poole, Dr. Jenkel gave Mr. Hyde what? What did he give to Mr. Hyde? According to Poole, Dr. Jenkel gave Mr. Hyde the key to the library. Okay. Uh, number two, Dr. Jenkel controlled Hyde because why? Why did he feel that he had control over Hyde? Well, it's because he could get rid of him. What does get rid of? Get rid of means you, you can eliminate that thing or that person. Get rid of, eliminate. Number three, the police. What did the police, we're going to say found. The police found a gold watch on the body. Okay? They found a gold watch. Uh, number... Number four, the victim of the crime. Who was the victim? The victim was a member of parliament. So he was a government official, a very important person. And Utterson, Utterson found big boxes in the laboratory. Okay. Moving on to number four in the activities. Uh, we're still on page 23. Number four, answer the questions. Write the answers in your notebook. Uh, this needs to be a longer answer. Uh, what instructions did Dr. Jenkel give to Utterson? Uh, these were instructions that he wasn't supposed to hurt uh, Mr. Hyde, but that he was to do everything in his power to help him. Even if uh, Dr. Jenkel died, he wanted... Uh, he wanted... Utterson to be there for him and to help him in whatever he may need. What did the maid see outside her window? She saw murder. She saw murder and it was nasty. And she's the one who called the police. According to the police, what two mistakes did Hyde make? Well, Hyde, he kept the cane. Now the cane was the murder weapon. And he kept half of it. So they had half the cane on the body and the other half in his house. So it, it was a very clear uh, trace of the murder weapon from the victim to the, to the criminal. That was the other mis one mistake. Second mistake, he burned his checkbook. The checkbook is where you write uh, an order for the bank to give an individual money. Now in Spain, I don't see a lot of people using checkbooks. In America, we still use a checkbook, and I think in England as well. Um, it's basically a piece of paper. It's, it's a legal piece of paper. It's If you have an account with a bank, that bank gives you these pieces of paper with your account number on it. And you can write the name of the person that you want to give money to, you write the amount of money that you want to give and you sign it and you give that paper to that person and that person takes that paper to the bank and the bank takes the paper and gives them that money okay they can recognize the sign signature uh it's tracked with the accounts and that's a check. And all those papers are in a little book called a check book. Now, in today's world, we use Bithum or PayPal or, or other systems to give money. Um, but, for example, my parents, you know, I have a checkbook for my account in America that I 
I don't use because I'm here in Spain. <laughs> um, where did the police wait for Mr. Hyde? At the bank. Because he burned his checkbook, they thought he would have to go to the bank to get money. And uh, what was Dr. Jekyll interested in? Uh-oh, I don't remember that one. Uh, Dr. Jekyll was interested in, oh, it's right here, chemistry. He was interested in chemistry and so on. And how did Dr. Jekyll look when Poole and Utterson entered the room? He looked ill. He looked deathly ill, maybe pale even. He looked very ill. He was sitting next to the fire, looking ill. So, based on that context, let's move on to chapter five, okay? To chapter five. The title of chapter five is The Letter, okay? Dr. Jekyll did not get up when Mr. Utterson came in and welcomed him in a strange voice. Poole left the room immediately. Do you know what happened last night? asked Mr. Utterson. Do you know that Hyde murdered Sir Danvers Carroll? Yes, answered Dr. Jekyll. The newspaper boys were shouting the news in the square. I heard them from my dining room. Carew was my client, said Utterson, and you're my client too. I want to know what is happening. Are you hiding Hyde? Utterson, cried Dr. Jekyll. I promise I will never meet him again. I am finished with him. He does not want my help. He isn't a danger to us anymore, and you will never hear of him again. The lawyer listened, but he was not happy. He did not like this, his friend's strange manner. I hope you're right, he said, but there will be a trial. And if someone mentions your connection to Hyde, that will be terrible for you. I'm sure he won't return, answered Dr. Jekyll. I can't tell you why, but I'm sure. However, there is one thing I, I want to ask you. I received a letter from Hyde today, and I don't know what to do with it. Must I give it to the police? Can I give it to you? I know that I can trust you. Mr. Utterson thought for a few moments. Let me see the letter, he said finally. Jekyll gave Utterson the letter, and the lawyer looked at it carefully. The handwriting was a bit strange. The letter said this, I thank you for your friendship and generosity. I won't be a danger to you anymore. I got a way to escape. Have you got the envelope? Utterson asked. I burnt it, answered Dr. Jekyll, but there weren't any clues on it. There wasn't a postmark because a messenger brought it to the door. Can I take the letter with me and think about it? Asked Utterson. Certainly answered Dr. Jekyll. Decide what to do with it. I don't want to think anymore. I don't know what to think anymore. I don't know what to think means I can't figure it out. I can't, I, I'm unable to come up with a solution. One more question, continued Utterson. Did Hyde tell you what to write in your will? Dr. Jekyll closed his mouth tightly for a moment. Yes, he answered very quietly. I knew it, said Utterson. He planned to murder you. You escaped. Oh, Utterson, exclaimed Dr. Jekyll. It's more than an escape. I learned a terrible lesson. And he covered his face with his hands. As he left the house, Utterson stopped to talk to Poole. A messenger brought a letter today, 
Mr. Utterson said. What did he look like? There weren't any messengers today, sir, Poole answered. Only a few things <clears throat> came by post, and there wasn't anything important. Someone's lying. Mr. Utterson walked along the street, very worried. Obviously, the messenger came to the laboratory door, he thought. Or perhaps someone wrote the letter in the room. I need advice. What is advice? It's consejo. It's when you need an expert to come in and give you information that you don't have or that you need. Or maybe someone that you feel is wiser than you. Someone who knows more about a circumstance or a situation than you. Who can help and give you information or, or tell you what you should do. Advice. Soon afterwards, Mr. Utterson arrived home and invited Mr. Guest, his head clerk, to come to his house. Mr. Utterson kept very few secrets from Mr. Guest and trusted him completely. Mr. Guest knew Dr. Jekyll, he knew Poole, and probably knew about Hyde's presence in the house too. Dr. Guest also knew a lot about handwriting. So he was an expert in handwriting. Handwriting is when, when you write by hand. Your style of writing. Uh, my way of writing by hand is different than yours. When you write by hand, it's unique to you. Okay? And so if, if someone is an expert at handwriting, they're, ex they're an expert in recognizing if, it, if the same hand wrote the same letters. The murder of Sam Danvers is a terrible thing, began Mr. Utterson. Yes, said Mr. Guest. Everyone is talking about it. And of course, the murderer, Hyde, was mad. Mad is crazy. I want to ask your opinion about that, said Mr. Utterson. I've got something to show you. It's a letter in Hyde's handwriting. Here you are. No, sir, said Mr. Guest, said, looking at the letter. This is not the handwriting of a mad person, but it is strange. At that moment, a servant entered with a note. That's from Dr. Jekyll, isn't it, sir? asked Mr. Guest. I recognize the handwriting. Is it private? It's from Jekyll, but it's not private, answered Mr. Utterson. It's only an invitation to dinner. Do you want to see it? Yes, please, answered Mr. Guest. He put the letter and the note on the table and compared them. Thank you, sir, he said finally, as he gave the letter and the note to Mr. Utterson. This is very interesting. Mr. Utterson was worried, but he tried to hide his feelings. Why did you compare them, Guest? He asked. Well, sir, Guest answered, the handwriting in the letter and the note is almost identical. Only the angle is different. So the angle, like maybe my hand is, is, is straight up and down, but the angle would, would be, you know, how an angle would turn, no? The angle is different. That's strange, said Mr. Utterson, trying to hide his shock. I must ask you, guest, please don't speak of these notes to anyone. No, sir, said Mr. Guest. I understand. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. So the, the handwriting from the, from the invitation of Dr. Jekyll 
in the handwriting of the confession note of Hyde is almost identical. Identical means the same in every way. Uh, I have two aunts that are identical twins. And when they went to school, they looked exactly the same. They wore the same clothes. They had their hair in the same way. Their faces were the same way. One was Auntie Kathy and the other Auntie Patty. Well, they weren't aunties at that time. They were students. So it was Kathy and Patty. And they would play tricks on their teachers and drive their teachers crazy because the teachers would never know if they were talking to Kathy or if they were talking to Patty. They were identical twins. Hmm. Yeah. I have a lot of twins in my family. My, my auntie Patty and Kathy are from my mom's side. My father also has twin brother and sister. And uh, my uncle Louie and my aunt Lois, they're, they're twins as well. But they weren't identical. Uh, but anyway. Uh, so yes, we will see you next time okay next time and we'll start with chapter six and then we'll have some questions okay you guys have a great week and we'll see you later goodbye